All right, hello and welcome everyone to today's video. So as you can see, we have a 1.5 booster box from Digimon to open today. And of course, given that it's Digimon, we have a bunch of extra cool stuff to open as well. So let's just get right to it. So we're gonna open those first. Uh, so we have our dash packs. So these are the 1.5 dash packs. And you can see we have a couple super rares to get as well as a rare and a couple comments. So here's hoping we end up with at least one of the super rares. That'd be nice. But these promos are always so well done, so it uh, doesn't really matter. You end up with something pretty awesome anyways. And it looks like we end up with uh, Brave Shield is our card. And not too bad. A little bit of the uh, Pringling, as I like to call it. So again, that was one of that was the rare of the group. And let's open up the second pack. So again, that's our potential options here. And let's see what we do. So let's see, we ended up with, looks like one of the comments. No, we got uh, Holy Wave, which is, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yes, it is one of the comments. Yes, it just looked a lot more spectacular when it, you saw it. So there's Holy Wave, one of our option cards. So pretty cool. And again, not too bad on the uh, curling or pringling, whatever you want to call it. So now these four options for this. So as you can see, there's four options in total. Uh, this is the uh, Memorial Pack. And it looks like they're all the same uh, rarity. So let's see which one we get. So we get uh, Patamon's Confession. So this looks like it's got art directly from the anime on there. So nothing uh, shining or too fo uh, foil on that card, but uh, pretty cool to get the alternate art on that. All right, so let's get to the box, or I assume it's alternate art. I haven't dug too deep into the cards to see what's what the promos are original versus if they're just alternate art. Now I had to do a little bit of research um, after opening up my 1.0 boxes, and I will say that uh, a couple things I learned was um, the cards still have BT zero to one, uh, zero one to zero three on them um, in both boxes. So it's a little confusing if you just start kind of sorting the cards because they'll be. Uh, organized according to their original Japanese set release instead of the 1.5 and 1.0 box uh, designation. Uh, what that also means is when you're looking at like TCG player, for instance, they're sorted just by uh, both, basically both 1 and 1.5 together. So it doesn't really differentiate because they're matching all three sets together. So it's a little confusing for this set at least, uh, what exactly when you're looking for the product that you're trying to find. So. All right, so we have uh, our box promo. So Airdramon, so let's take a look at the other card in that. Uh, again, I mean, it does make it op easy to open the packs. I just don't wanna, you know, nick it. So there is our Airdramon. And then we get a two uh, special box promotion pack uh, cards in here. And there's our options at the back. So again, we get either blue, red, or blue again. So there's Garumon, Agumon, and feature zero, and then the accompanying card. So, I believe you, when you get one of those sets, you get the like you get both cards. Um, so you'll know right away if you hit, uh, for instance, we got the red one. We know we're gonna get Agumon and Greymon in the pack. So there's a nice foiling on that Agumon, and then we get our Greymon. So it's nice that it's not like an overwhelming foil. It's got kind of that uh, almost like a fiery kind of look to it. So this game has a lot of different techniques for foiling, which makes some of the cards really stand out. So enough talking about the cards, let's get to the actual packs. Uh, and one thing I did, I did find out uh, after doing some research and kind of looking at the cards I opened in my 1.0 boxes, is that you do end up with uh, either two alternate art cards or an alternate art and a secret uh, rare in a box. So between my boxes, I end up with one um, secret rare and three alternate arts. All right, so here we go. We got Seedramon, another Armadillomon in the set, Angemon, so you know some of these are different colors too, Beast Cyclone, Gyromon, Clockmon, oh, I like it. It's got the little, uh, looks like he's wearing like a mask. Candlemon, that's sweet. I love the uh, fire too. I definitely like those colors. Uh, Banco Stingmon, so it looks like uh, kind of like an insect monster. Ludomon, so it looks almost like a um, some sort of like World War II kind of uh, mine looking monster. Hidden potential discovered. And we get to our, our rare, so Rise Greymon, 
and Glorious Burst. There's our option rare. So I'm gonna put the, the rares down here. And then we'll put our rares over here. And again, we get our memory card slash checklist card. Which is cool. So it allows you to keep track of what is what. And again, given the, uh, looking at the other 1.0 box, I think a lot of the cards in this set are gonna be from BT03. Uh, I think the first uh, BT01 had a lot of the uh, first four colors in it, and then kind of spread out the other colors over the next two sets. So that's one reason I think to split up the uh, sets when they reprinted them is you're gonna get a better color distribution. All right, so we get uh, Saber Dramon, Maramon, so it's gonna Fire Demon, Death Parade Blaster, Mega Seedramon, Raji Ludomon, I uh, don't know, looks like some kind of like mech almost. And we get another Agumon, so I think there's like one almost every color. And uh, Psychemon, Argomon, Salamon, Flymon, and their rares are Salamon and Grace Cross Freezer. So we didn't get too many options in the uh, first uh, 1.0 boxes, but I noticed already we've hit one in each pack, so. And there's the breakdown, just in case you're wondering what you're looking for. So again, there's um, 10 super rares and three secret rares. Now, just by looking at the price guide um, on TCG Player, looks like the big card in this one is gonna be another Omnimon um, Alter S, I believe is the name of the card. And this time it is a, um, Seeker Rare, so there it is Sukamon, Geogramon, the Clockmon, Plasma Strike, Gomam, Gomamon, Blossomon, there, as you can see green is really into the plant type, Magna Angemon, Salamon, another Flymon, Nyramon, and our rares are Metal Graymon and Paldramon. So there's a cool looking one there. I'll put those over there so we get our supers and stuff. And they uh, they definitely uh, the, the colors they're using the packs are like, they're really awesome looking packs. Not a very uh, dull looking pack design. And really, the sets uh, 1.5 since they have more of a pastel look to the product. So it's cool. All right, so we're gonna see some of these already again. Volcanic flare. A lot of these we've kind of rapid mods, so and it looks like a uh, some kind of flying creature. We have to stop fighting. <laughs> I like the name, the art. It's got those uh, two drops. Guru Guru Mon, Guru Guru Mon, Anklo Mon. That's kind of a dinosaur-looking monster. Mon, and then we got um, Selfie Mon and Mega Goro Mon. There's our rares. So given that I'm not familiar with art for the original cards, um, finding the altars is sometimes difficult, especially with some of the cards that have these sort of text boxes. It looks like it might be an altar or an extended art or whatnot, uh, but it actually ends up just being like the regular art. So kind of have to keep a look out for that. Aramon, at least that's what I'm calling it. Uh, Lava Vormon, Vomon, Arctic Blizzard. So those are the easy ones. <laughs> Tank mod, <laughs> that's awesome, with that angry tank. Garu Demon, looks like, almost like a Lucha Libre wrestler. Uh, Anti Lamon, which is like an antelope. Tia Ludomon, so very, uh, the styles you get for some of these monsters are very like cute and cuddly. Then we have like the very, like like this Clavis Angemon or very like serious looking. Uh, code Cracking, another option here. And then we get, whoops, Breath of the Gods. And we get our first super in Blitzgreymon. So let me look up the current price on um, the market price on TCG, TCG Player. So let's see. Um, so Blitzgreymon's $10 currently, okay? So it looks like a, you know, average, below average super. It does look pretty sweet though. It's got the big guns and the big cans. And is a Mega Virus Cyborg. Ooh, and one of my favorites here, Candlemon. And here we go. 
to Riemann. This is my uh, learning, uh, reading comprehension quiz. Cherry Blast. Kunamon. And I imagine a lot of these names are probably more relevant in Japanese. There's Hawkmon. Like the little, uh, the, uh, was it, was it like a belt buckle around its head? Um, Arukian Mon. Is that kind of, kind of spider looking demon creature? Poromon. Vikimon. A dedicated plan. And here we go. Another, another Breath of the Gods and Dark Despair. So again, more uh, a lot of options in this set so far. As far as uh, rears go. So that's interesting. I wonder if that was uh, done on purpose or just kind of the way it turned out given the uh, cards they had left over from the first time when they were done making the first 1.0. All right, so here's Argomon. Geograd Greymon, Mummymon, oh, that's one of my favorites right there. Gatamon, uh, Kakinmon, okay, Based, Basedmon, oh, it's like a lynx, kind of like a sphinx looking thing. Shakumon, uh, uh, that's an odd looking one. That's our first rare, and then we get a Shine Greymon as our super rare. So let me look that one up. And let you know how how we did on that one. So it looks like Shine Greymon is a uh, pretty expensive. So it's thirty one dollars currently. So that's a uh, that's what we like to call a bingo in the in the game of opening up packs. And it's a Mega Vaccine Light Dragon. So instead of being a virus, I guess it's a vaccine. So very nicely done on that one. All right, here we get Lightning Paw, another Tankmon, Gargomon, so a big bunny with like a a uh, thing across his chest there. Skull Maramon, ooh, I like him. It's quite evil. Howling Crusher, that's one of these we've seen. Goldramon, looks impressive, like the full art. Upamon, Zudomon, and we get our rares, Lady Devamon. Oh, it's just some sort of like evil like demon angel. And we get Angel Woman. Angel Woman. There we go. Very nice. These all together. So kind of like a, I think she's supposed to be like a, oh, it says Fallen Angel on the uh, Lady Devimon. So she's an ultimate virus Fallen Angel. Hmm. So kind of like almost like a succubus. And then the ultimate vaccine archangel is Angel Woman. So you, oops, this one is just not coming out. It's not want to come out cleanly. All right, so we get Shamamon, Holy Wave, Jewel Bimon, Argomon, Vimon, Positron Laser, Lava Voromon, Vidramon. Argomon, another Vikingmon. Oops. Okay, we get a Joe Kiddo, which I looked at. We have probably about ten Joe Kiddos between like the promos and the ones I opened the box, and we get Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. So this, I believe, is an alternate art. So let me look up uh, that goodie. Like that. Like look how beautiful that is too. Like the light shines off it. It just really pops. Awesome looking card. So let's see. That gets its own pile. So currently. On TCG Player, that one is going for uh, let's see, $35. Okay, so slightly more than our Shine Gray Mon. Let's just move these up so we can see them a little bit clearer. There you go. So that is our first alternate art. So very nicely done so far. We got a couple $30 plus cards. And there's our Gazimon, Bifrost, Patamon, so a lot of these we've seen, Saberdramon, Lavogoritamon, Dokugumon, Mega Seedramon, Airdramon, so like our promo in the box, the Ray of Victory, and we get Terrymon, and our rares are Testament, and Ophanamon, Ophanamon, sorry. Let's put those down there. 
So it looks like they're, they reuse a lot of like the uh, tamers in different colors and even like some of the more popular Digimon get put in different colors. So that's a way for them to kind of keep the, uh, we're using the same Digimon rather than just having you know, one or two copies of them. They can put them in multiple colors. And same with the tamers, right? They can get used to other characters a lot more. So I think most of these we've kind of go through. Oh, that's a new one, Betamon. Plasma Strike, and we have to stop fighting. Black uh, Gatomon, and we get Naira Roman, and our rares are Durandamon and by by we Briwi Roman. Wow, those are really tough to pronounce. There's a whole subset of those uh, Digimon that like that. Whew. Yeah, this one feels like it's a lot tougher to pronounce the names than the last one, man. I'm sweating over here. You just, you just start going down that road and you just don't know where you're gonna end up. It's just a wild ride on the uh, pronunciation world here. There's Nagumon. Commandermon. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna fly through a lot of these ones. Gigamon. And let's see, we get Davis, Moto Maya, Maya, and Ragna, Lord Lordramon, so as our super rare. So let's take a look and see how much uh, Ragna goes for right now. So Ragna currently is 1850, so not bad. I would say that's not too shabby. So we're gonna easily, the fact that I was able to get these four retail, I mean, it means I'm gonna easily clear the uh, box value just based on the prices currently. Now, whether these prices are ultimately gonna hold, you know, any kind of, any, any kind of long-term prospects is another question, but it's nice that you can get to uh, you know, open packs and not uh, just lose out on value like sometimes you do. So, another Commander Mon, Rapid Mon, Ludo, Delicate Plan, Oops. Okay, so Edamon, so looks like our uh, monkey with sunglasses. And we get another super, so this is uh, Mastamon. So let's look up uh, Mastamon and see how well we did. Oops. Okay. So uh, Mastamon is 9.19, so like, you know, $9. So not the best. I mean, it does look cool. It is a, uh, an angel. So it goes with all my creepy uh, candles and all the other mummies and all that cool stuff and the uh, purple monsters. And it looks like it can actually uh, digivolve from two different colors. So I noticed a bunch of the supers here have that where they can digivolve from either uh, one color or another color, which is kind of cool. I like it. All right, there's Penguin Naman. Try to just point out the ones that are new. Aquilamon. Zuba Eagermon, Puppet Pummel, Demi Vimon, and we get Kenji Ichi Joji, and Malo Myostimon. There you go. Our rares. And once you sort the cards out, you'll kind of notice the patterns with a lot of the cards in terms of. Uh, and their, and their effects, and one thing I've noticed, like looking, just looking at the tamers, that they all have uh, their security, is they all get played without paying their memory costs, which is kind of cool. Now we get something shiny in this pack. <laughs> nice to know. Uh, Blossomon. Then we get some ones we saw earlier, like Clockmon. There's Mechanomon. And our Minomon, our egg. And we get another Kenji, so back to back Ken. Not Kenji Ken. And we hit a Cerisamon. So I've seen the art on this one already. That's pretty cool. I like the, it's kind of like a uh, living uh, creature with like, that's also like a planet, kind of like a uh, Krakoa. If you read, uh, if you know like your X-Men comics. The Krakoa of Digimon. Cerisamon is $14, okay, so not too bad, middle of the road. But again, that's, you know, add up a bunch of $14 cards. Top of my $30 cards, we're looking at just straight up value here. Uh, 
Uh, man, I get to the bottom of the pack and it's just like, oh, uh, just don't work hard. There we go. I'm just kind of butchering a bit. All right. Positron lay there. I don't know if we saw that one before. All right. Uh, the Greymon. And we get uh, Stingmon and Wormmon. There we go. So a lot of green cards lately. We've hit uh, the Tamer and then this pack had back-to-back -back green cards, so. Plus our super there of Cerismon has been, that was obviously a green card. And I believe off the top of my head, I think there's six colors, if I remember correctly. All right, so the Ray of Victory, we have Cherbimon and Davis Moto Maya as our rare. All right, so we were still looking for either our other second or alternate arts or our secret rare. And there's something in this pack. You can see he's poking out at us right there. All right, let's try to fly through it. Oh, necrophobia. Ooh, creepy. All right, there's. Biomon and Valkyrie Mon, Eden's Javelin, Bergermon, Wormmon, and our rare is, super rare is uh, All Force Vidramon. All right, so let's take a look at that. So let's see. So that's eleven dollars. So not bad. I mean, if we get like seven all uh, super rares in the box, and like you know, if they average like ten dollars, that's seven dollars. Um, being in Canada, that's you know, compared to Canadian, it's even um, the value looks even better for the box price. It almost just buys the box itself. All right. Ooh, Penguin Mon. Love that one. Tank, Bergermon, Puppet Pummel, Argomon. Okay, Shakumon, another one of those, and Dino Beemon. Cool. I do like that you do get two rares. Now, that does, of course, decrease the value of the rares, but like I said before, I'd rather have the rares more accessible, and I think getting two rares in a pack is pretty sweet. So, making stuff more accessible is always better because that leads to more players playing the game, more people have fun with the game. So if the rares aren't that expensive, that's okay, you know. Save that for your high-end cards that maybe not, you know, not everyone needs. Rather really have more cards be accessible. And just like the commons, right? Alright, so it looks like we got something shiny. So we got another uh Dino Beamon and to go along with a Saris Garumon. So let's throw that down there and check out the price of our Saris Garumon. And that looks to be a $4 super rare. So it doesn't be, look to be one of the more expensive ones, but like I said, that's okay. We're, uh, we're doing, doing well with the other ones. And you know what, if you're just gonna be playing casually, you know, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure all these cards are great to play, uh, you know, a fun deck based on just on that color, right? Throw all my black cards and my purple cards in a deck and let's just go, right? All right, so this, I can tell this is gonna be a nice one at the back. You can see the shininess and the alternate artness of it sitting in there. So let's just get right to it. So Goldramon, Fumon, Anklamon, and we get Lady Devamon to go along with our Cranamon. So that is uh, definitely alternate art. So that goes for, um, I have to check out my, uh, I clicked on it, it's uh, reset the, ranking I had, so it's no longer done by Rarity. So, Cranemon Alternate Art is $16. <whistles> well, it looks impressive, okay? <laughs> it looks impressive. All right, so those are the two high-end ones. So, we hit seven supers and two alternate arts. So, unfortunately, that means that we're probably just gonna be putting up rares, but hey, see if they get anything cool in these last couple packs here. 
gonna fly through these ones and see how we do. Um, we get scrap claws and another Etamon. Cool. All right, down to the last two packs. And see how I do. I just wanted to showcase the art on these because it's got a lot going on on them. So pretty sick here. Let's see what we get. We got Doku Gumon. I think that's the first one we got of those. And let's see. Demi Meron. Ergemon. Okay, Metal Mamimon. So it's kind of like Wolverine over here with the claws. And then we get Rina Shinomaya. So she does not look like a uh, kid like most of the other uh, tamers are. She definitely looks uh, very adult, so. That's a new character. Again, I'm not too, I'm not familiar with the anime beyond just, uh, you know, the main characters, I remember them. So I'm not uh, familiar with some of the newer characters. And that just looks like a newer character to me. All right, hidden potential discovered. All right, and Terrymon. So we get Brave Shield, which is our, if you remember, is one of our uh, promo cards. So here's the original um, art frame. And Phoenixmon, pretty sweet looking. There you go. All right, so that is our box. So as you can see, we did pretty well in the value-wise. We got our two alternate arts and all of our supers. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe so you can follow me for more awesome box openings and collectibles unboxings. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and uh, I will see you around. Bye.